So the 2024 MLB postseason is officially here, and I'm going to build a team in MLB The Show using one pitcher and one hitter from each postseason team. Let's start it off in the American League with the team that everybody thought would make the postseason at the beginning of the year, the Detroit Tigers. From them, I will be using Kerry Carpenter and Tarek Skubal. Moving on to the Kansas City Royals, of course, I've got Bobby Witt Jr. and Lucas Ursig for the pen. And the last AL wildcard team is the Baltimore Orioles. I'm going to go with Adley for my catcher and Dan Danny Coulomb for the bullpen. Now moving over to the AL West champion Houston Astros. I have Jordan Alvarez and Josh Hader for the bullpen. The AL Central champion Cleveland Guardians. I've got Jose Ramirez and Emmanuel Classe. I'm so sad J-Ram didn't get the chance to get 40-40. And lastly, the one seed in the AL, it's the New York Yankees. I'm using Aaron Judge and Garrett Cole. But since there's 12 postseason teams and there's two players per team, that adds up to 24 out of 26. So each one seed will get one more player so from the yankees i'm also gonna take 99 luke weaver but now let's jump to the national league starting with the new york mets i've got francisco lindor and edwin diaz from the atlanta braves i'm going with marcel ozuna and chris sale and the last wild card team the san diego padres i have fernando tatis jr and dylan cease for the rotation now moving over to the nl central champion brewers i have willie adamas and devin williams from the nl east champion phillies i have bryce harper and Matt Strom. And finally, the one seed, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Of course, I've got the 50-50 Shohei. I have Jack Flaherty and Mookie Betts. So honestly, I think this team turned out pretty good. The offense is pretty solid. Definitely going to be starting Scooble for this game. The bullpen is a little bit questionable, even though some of these guys do have good pitches, good attributes. It is just definitely not the strength of this team. But can I get a win with all of these postseason players? Let's find out. Now, as I search for this game, just a reminder that if you're going to any baseball games in the postseason, use code Cougs on SeatGeek to save $20 on your tickets. And I'm so excited for pick'em entries on Underdog Fantasy for every MLB playoff game. All you're doing is picking higher or lower based off Underdog's projection for that player. If you guys want to try out Underdog for yourself, remember to sign up using code Cougs. They'll give you up to $1,000 in promo cash, as well as a free pick for your first entry. So we've got Scooble, and we're taking on you, Darvish. Let's see if we can get after you, Darvish, right away. Mm, why am I reaching? Oh, that could drop. Is it just me, or did that seem like the right fielder was playing Aaron Judge shallow? Oh, my God. That's a fastball down the middle. What an atrocious start. I might need a good game from Scooble if I'm going to hit like that. Here we go. Ground ball to Bobby. That should be the first out, no problem. I think I've got Hank Aaron right where I want him. I'm going to hit him with a slider low and in for a swing and a miss on strike three. Or just a ground out. There's just no way he actually hits well lefty-lefty with Corbin Carroll. boy, Bryce. That was a weird hop, too. All right, one, two, three for both of us in the first. Adley Rushman. I missed that fastball in the first inning with Shohei. I'm not going to miss it again. That's why I used a wild card for him at catcher. Oh, and I'm back to... Oh. Huh? Yo, that play was incredible. <laughs> well, back to it on the mound. I gotta know, guys, in the comments of this video, give me your 2024 postseason prediction. Who do you think wins the World Series? I posted my predictions on Twitter already. This is a look at what I think is going to happen. I do have the Phillies beating the Yankees in the World Series, probably in like a game seven. I just kind of think the Phillies are the most complete team in this postseason. I think they've got a great starting rotation. I think they've got a great bullpen. I think their lineup is obviously very good. I just really like the Phillies as a roster up and down. I think there are some question marks with a couple teams in terms of their pitching. Some other teams, I don't know if they have enough firepower offensively to keep up with some of the good pitching in the postseason. I just kind of feel like the Phillies have it all. So they're my pick for the World Series this year. Yeah, I'm not going to fall for that, man. But let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm stupid? Who do you think is going to take home that World Series trophy? Let me know. Oh, Shohei. Is that going to go or not? It is going to go. Shohei, left center. That's 2-0. There we go. Come on, Bryce. Make it a 4-0 game. Oh, my God, 
Bryce Harper. Perfect, perfect on a low and away sinker. What a phenomenal swing to make it 4 nothing. And he's gone. <laughs> All right, that was fun, but let's make some changes to the lineup now. Let's move some players around, get some of these guys from the bench on the lineup. So we'll get Kerry Carpenter in the outfield. We've got Lindor on the left side of the infield, and we've got Marcel Ozuna over at DH. So this time around, I'm going to go with Chris Sale. 103 off the bat with Ozzy Smith to start this one. Okay, maybe I should try to, like, actually hit the corners. Leaving stuff in hittable locations is getting crushed. What a concept. 2-2 two, two on Garver. I'm going slider in. Tied him up. Strike three. Well, I got to face Rich Hill. That slurve has so much movement. What is Rich Hill's velocity? Isn't it like 45, 47? If you guys have watched my channel for years, you would know that the type of pitcher that gives me the most trouble is slow throwing lefties. Guys who don't throw the ball hard, but have a ton of break like that, dude, they mess with me. See, I, dude, I can't wait back on that. Get up the middle, get up there. Dude, that hit the mound and course corrected to the second baseman. I'm also just realizing this guy has very interesting jerseys. Ooh, swinging the bat well with Adley today. This is gonna be a tough matchup for Kerry Carpenter, dude. He does not hit lefties well. That's not a terrible swing though. He's got 44 contact, man. I, I can only do so much. I also definitely forgot to change my batting order. So I have back-to-back -back lefties in this spot, which I don't love. Hmm, if this was a better Harper card, maybe. That was a cutter. Oh, man, I really hope I can score off Rich Hill. Make a play, Lindor. Bang. Dude, his home run in the ninth inning of that game was so electric. Ooh, okay. That was a nice hit. Got a guy on second now. All right, let's work out of this sale. J-Ram. What are we doing? Sh Shohei couldn't make that catch. I need a ground ball double play more than I need oxygen. And I got my ground ball, but not the double play. There it is. There's the double play to get out of the inning. All right, he only got one. Could have been way worse. I got to get going with the bats, though. How is that only hit 97 off the bat with that swing? Yeah, he just walked Lindor. I'll take the free base runner, dude. <laughs> you walk Lindor to get to Otani. I get it's the lefty-lefty matchup, but come on, brother. 412 feet for the 50-50, man. Sure. Come on, J-Ram. Over 100 power against lefties. Let's get it. Oh, let's get it. The change up right over the middle. J-Ram got his redemption from his last at bat. Is he going to pitch to Francisco Lindor this time? He is. And I don't think it worked out for him. I see why you intentionally walked him, man. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, let's change it up a little bit. Let's get a new pitcher in here. Let's go with Devin Williams. Come on. Mm, good swing. Now, come on, Devin Williams. Don't make me regret bringing you out of the pen. Oh, he missed a big fastball there. Yep. Atta boy, J-Ram. <laughs> hey, Devin Williams gave up a leadoff double and then handled business. And now Rich Hill's out of the game. This is when I score 15 runs. Adley again. Dude, I swear, every at-bat has been a perfect swing for this guy. Ooh, Kerry Carpenter has a righty now. No, oh, come on. You got to let Carrie have some fun. Okay, top seven. I'm going to start here with uh, Devin Williams for the first hitter and then go to a lefty. All right, time to go to the pen. Danny Coulomb is a great BR card. Not 100% sold on him in ranked seasons right now, but should be okay. I'm going to go cut her high and in. Hmm. 
I don't know. I think he just got bailed for looking at strike three. Let's go get those runs back right here. Should maybe intentionally walk Lindor again, dude. He's leaving the righty in for Shohei. That's down. Get to third base, Lindor. All right, that works. Seven to three, one swing now gets us to double digits. Hey, there you go. Is that gonna be another guy advanced to third? That's the third straight hit where somebody's gone first to third. Well, it's not a perfect swing, but it works. Adley delivers again. Come on, Carrie Carpenter, you're due. Oh. That's gonna fluke him. That's gonna fluke him. Go, go, go. It's bases loaded. Bryce Harper could win the game right now. You forget the outs there, champ. The walk-off is still alive. No, dude, come on. I'm under it. I'm sending it to right field. F Damn, dude, I cannot get Willie Castro out. He's four for four. I forgot how good that card was in season one. I feel like I've gotten so many infield pop-ups in this game. Harry Carpenter gonna throw him out at home. Oh, that would have been electric. Double play though, or it should be at least. Never mind. Oh, we're just... We're just giving him the base. I wish you could turn off defensive indifference. Defensive indifference should not be on when you can get mercy rule victories. Because now look, now it's a four run game. That's so stupid that you can't take that off. Oh, Lindor again. That's what his second homer of the day. Love me a good Lindor supercharge. All right, let's close this thing out. One pitch, one out in the ninth for Matt Strom. Two pitches, two outs. Damn. <laughs> Willie Castro is really five for five. You know what? With Aaron Judge at the plate, let's finish the game with Luke Weaver. 99 overall card here. And I think Kerry Carpenter is going to get there in time. That's a victory with all these postseason players. I think Adley would probably have to be the player of the day for me. So many perfect swings. Otani also had a good game. Lindor had a good game. Just a really solid performance from everybody involved. Hopefully it's a really good postseason in 2024, man. I'm excited. <laughs>